Uh, okay, so update, Sonic Speed Simulator has pumpkins now. And you know what that means, it's Halloween! The time for giving candy to those who somehow like Misting Mansion from Sonic Heroes and making life a bit more inconvenient for Matt has no cuts. Didn't you say he was sent to hell? Exactly! Well, since we're on the exact opposite of that spectrum, Cole invited us to a Halloween party! Uh, I'm not really sure about this one. Remember the last time he invited us to a party? Hey, 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 we're here for the end of September party! Oh, perfect timing! Here are the roses! My date needs to be perfect tonight. WHAT?! Well, I mean, at least it helped you figure out your asexuality. Yeah, but I'm still pissed about it. If people can wear costumes at this time of year, so can schemes. I'm not sure about this either. Curses can wear costumes too, and this is the ripe time for the Sonic Tuber curse to be squirming around. The what? The Sonic Tuber curse! Since the inception of Sonic discussions, some kind of ghost has haunted Sonic creators across the world, possessing those it sees fit and forcing them to create videos about Sonic rumors made by 12-year-olds against their will. I remember seeing Stephen Nux scream in pain out in public when I was a baby, and what do you know, he started posting leak videos immediately after. They say that Matt, the owner of Tilt Channel, died from being possessed by the curse for too long. People believe that? Uh, yeah, I saw it with my own two eyes. Babies are the most unreliable source imaginable. Sonic tubers are stupid enough to fall for whatever tweens post on their favorite website, curse or no curse. Come on, the party will be fun! And it'll take your mind off the curse thing. I could talk about some Sonic leaks on the way there. That would do the exact opposite, but go off, I guess. Wanna know about a Sonic game when it's announced? No! Well, extra extra, read all about it. Sonic Rift on the Xbox One. Leaks? Rumors? Whatever! If you haven't seen any of these, you must have not had the talk until you were 16. When someone gets info that is in public, why not spread the info online? It's not like you signed a contract or anything. Let those feelings run wild. Rumors have been with Sonic for as long as I can remember. I'm still waiting for Sonic Rivals 3, but as far as I've seen, nobody's discussed the history of the iconic medium of the Sonic franchise. Until today. As per the season of the Spooks and Scares, I'm gonna go over the history of Sonic rumors and laugh at our past selves for even thinking about believing them. One rumor that persisted in the early 2010s was Sonic Dimensions. No, not the LEGO Dimensions expansion that would eventually become one of the best games in the series. Sonic Dimensions was set to be a Wii U exclusive game that was somewhat of a sequel to both Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations. The story would have revolved around some kind of split in the multiverse, causing Sonic to split into different colored versions of himself with different personalities. This was very similar to an issue of the Sonic X Archie comics, yes, those existed, where Sonic was split into different colored versions of himself with different personalities. Each one would have given him a different ability, like the red one giving him fire abilities while making him slower, or the purple one giving him abilities similar to Big the Cat. Whatever that meant. This was reported by TSSE News, and we all know how they ended up. Eventually, Takashi Izuka, the head of Sonic Team, was asked about the legitimacy of Sonic Dimensions, with him saying, I think it's a complete hoax, while laughing it off. Now, were we stupid to believe this? Uh, not really. TSSZ was considered reliable back then, and big faces in the community had said that the person who sent the info to the person who broke the story had no reason to lie due to their position in the industry. But clearly they did. Well, what about Sonic Mach 2? Back in May of 2015, Orbot's German actor listed a game that he would be voicing the character in called Sonic Mach 2 to be released in 2015. Shortly after, he took the listing down, which kind of added legitimacy to it. Someone even asked Suzuka about it, and he said that Sonic Team wasn't developing it. Well, that settles it then! Sonic Mach 2 is real, right? The next mainline Sonic game was Sonic Forces. However, there was one Sonic game that was announced shortly after this rumor, and was slated to be released in 2015. Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice. Orbot was in that game, look, see, there he is. On top of that, the Mach 2 title fits with the theme of Fire and Ice. Kind of. This game is a lot faster than Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal, the previous game in the series, increasing Sonic's speed as well as shortening the length of each level, which was a massive complaint with the first game. And this game has two elements that you take control of, see? Two elements? Mach 2? Uh, I'll shut up now. I swear, this better not be another dating scheme. Oh, no, 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 that's next month. This is a full-on, naturally and artificially flavored Halloween party. Good. Keep it that way. Alright, VMAG, what did you dress up as this time? Well, I was told that going as a wisp again wouldn't be a good idea, so I've decided to go as Zavok. I hope that'll please everyone this time. Uh-huh. Shamix isn't dressed up though, he's just in his regular Best Buy attire, what's up with that? Oh, he's in a costume alright, he was fired from Best Buy after his boss went insane, so he's dressing up as the scariest thing possible. His boss? No, a Sonic tuber. 
I know too much. Oh, do you know about Sonic Village? What the fuck is that? A state? Maybe. A year after Sonic Mach 2 was leaked, another Sonic Boom game was being talked about online. Sonic Village. Out of nowhere, the official Sonic Facebook page advertised a game called Sonic Village. It was a mobile game where you could design your own Sonic Boom Village with unlockable materials and characters. It also said that Chow were gonna be in the game. This sent fans into a panic mode because not only was this a stupid, dumb, dumb, stupid idea, but it was also on the official Sonic Facebook page with no prior announcement. It blew up so far that the official social media manager at the time, Aaron Weber, had to confirm that Sonic Village never existed, and the South by Southwest panel that was going to happen just a few weeks later sounded a bit more disappointing after that. But the question still stands, why did the official Sonic Facebook page post this? Was it an actual game? Was it a meme that someone was going to post but accidentally went on the wrong account? Or was the account hacked to make people believe that it was a real thing? I mean, does it really matter? This was like six years ago. So let's roll the clock back even further to 2012. 10 years ago. TSSZ came back again saying that Sonic was going to get a massive total reboot in 2014. The source claimed that the game would have the basics of Sonic, surreal environment, speed, platforming Sonic and Eggman's rivalry, and stuff like that. However, the characters would receive major makeovers. Zones would become their own big open worlds, apparently similar to Burnout Paradise of all things. The game would run on a next-gen engine, something on the same caliber as Unreal Engine or Frostbite. And second, we're considering the possibility of making it toys to life. Oh boy. The source said that the reboot was still in the exploratory phases and that there were no plans to bring back classic Sonic. That should deconfirm this rumor immediately. However, most of the things described by the source were very similar to the Wii U game Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. It was a total reboot of the series that was released in 2014, it had the environment, speed, and platforming that Sonic games were known for, but did it in a way that was completely different from other Sonic games. Zones were entirely redone to be more open, and the game ran on CryEngine 3. And the dates kind of add up too. The game was in the planning stages around this time. I don't know what the Toys to Life thing was about, but I'm glad they didn't do that because we wouldn't have Sonic Dimensions if they went through with it. Alright, that's it! I've had enough! All this constant talk of Sonic Leaks is making me anxious. Not to mention, I've been hearing knocks on the wall, and constant breaking of glass all night. The Sonic Tuber curse is among us, and I am horrified! Ender, x will discuss his random stuff every other week. The knocking on the walls is my roommate Rudy trying to leave his solitary confinement. And the glass breaking is V-Meg dropping every plate he picks up. You're paying for that. Okay. Alright, fine. But I still have my doubts. There's gotta be something up with this party. And it's not that Expo hasn't talked about 4chan leaks yet! Do not even start! <sighs> 4chan, a middle schooler's favorite after-school website. Aside from being the home to... Shutting down. It's been the number one hotspot for Sonic rumors for years. 12 year olds can easily post false information online with ease. Sonic Rivals 2 is coming to Stadia? Sure! Sonic Forces was made as a stopgap for Frontiers? Why not? Sonic Adventure 3 to include Stick the Badger? What? Alright, that's enough scary stories for today. I'm gonna go pick something up from Kroger. Don't do anything stupid. Sticks the Badger? Who the f would put Sticks the Badger in SAP? In 2016, a supposed former QA tester at Sega of America posted a long thread saying what the 25th anniversary Sonic games were all about. And to add credibility to his post, he shared an image of his Sega job identification card, which was actually identical to how other cards looked in the office. Too bad he ruined his credibility once he started sharing the information. Two games were said to be in development, one 3D and one 2D. Okay, pretty accurate so far. We had Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania for the anniversary, which were 3D and 2D respectively. What does he have to say about the 3D game? The 3D one is officially titled Sonic Adventure 3. You could have just said Lego Dimensions. SA3 was said to have six playable characters just like the first game. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, Silver, and Six the Badger. I'm not reading the rest of this portion. What's the 2D game all about? Sonic Genesis, the origin of chaos. It seemed to be a Sonic-only game where he would be sent back in time to when the chaos elements were first created. The only things the leaker said he saw from the game were Green Hill Zone and a futuristic casino stage. Interestingly enough, this is somewhat similar to what we saw from Sonic Mania when it was first revealed. Sonic was the only playable character in the demo, and the only stages we had were Green Hill Zone and Studio the latter of which had casino themed elements in this modern looking city. I'm not saying he knew about Mania, I'm just saying that he had a keen eye for quality titles. The leaker ends his thread by saying, Happy 25th Sanic! Stop sucking, please. Well, I'm sorry to say, Mr. Leaker. He hasn't stopped. This Project Sonic 2017 screenshot made the round showing it was from a PlayStation meeting. Yes, the number one place to see gameplay for Project Sonic. A PlayStation meeting. Sonic Runners will be a full-on Sonic game for smartphones with Sonic Unleashed gameplay. 
Obviously, Sonic Unleashed, the game that can barely run on the hardware it was released on, will run flawlessly on iPhone 4. Sonic Rings, a new Sonic game to be revealed at South by Southwest 2020, coming to Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and Google freaking Stadia. Well, normally I'd say Google Stadia being here confirms a leak, but there was no South by Southwest 2020 in Ba Sing Se. Sonic Rift, the most iconic fake Sonic game of all time. It had a similar synopsis to Sonic Dimensions, where Sonic had to deal with a multiversal crisis, but without the cool parts. Just a regular boost game with a dimensional story. Why do people believe this? It was in multiple leaks throughout the late 2010s and early 2020s. It went from small, stupid leak to being covered by Madness No Cuts. You think him being worried about this game is part of the reason he was sent to hell? Metal Sonic will be a skin for Sonic and Super Smash Bros. for 3DS. This makes me thirsty. Anybody got Dr. Bob? Yeah, I got you, bro. Wait. Dr. Bob is the curse's favorite drink. Feedback, wait! Whoops. The Sonic Tuber Curse! The Sonic Tuber Curse is real! You dare have the audacity to discuss fake leaks willingly? I mean, they were kinda funny. Fine, I'll show you what Sonic leaks are truly capable of! Hey yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Chow Mix, and today we're gonna be going over an amazingly credible leak for a game called Sonic Rose. <laughs> 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 I am never drinking Dr. Bob again. What, 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 what would you? I didn't expect Enter's nonsense to have credibility. Well, the curse feeds off of fake leaks, right? So what if we fought back with real leaks? Does anyone have any real leaks that they could discuss? You ever read the Sonic movie Reddit AMA? Sonic is going to have hyper-realistic fur texture, which is what I've always wanted. Start talking already! Okay, 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 okay. Uh, some guy who claimed to watch a test screening for the Sonic movie went to Reddit for people to ask him some questions. He said that it showed the origins of Sonic and Robotnik, Sonic was raised by an owl as a baby, Sonic escaped his planet to stay hidden on Earth, Robotnik worked for the government before going full on Eggman, Sonic does a Fortnite dance, Paramount took down the Reddit post, yeah, yeah, this was real, alright. What? Is that legitimacy I hear? Well, what about Sonic Rangers? Shortly after the Sonic Central teasing Sonic Frontiers, some metadata for the trailer confirmed that the game's working title was Sonic Rangers, which lined up with a 4chan post earlier in the year saying that Sonic Rangers was an open-world, combat-focused Sonic game with a new move called the Spin Cycle, which you can actually see Sonic do in the teaser. It's kinda sad though, since this was the only source of discussion for the game because Sega literally gave us nothing until December. There's also the Zippo leaks. Zippo was a Nintendo leaker for the longest time until he started talking about Sonic in 2021. Some things he said were completely off target, but most things he said came to pass. A Sonic collection was in the pipeline to feature the retro engine versions of Sonic 1 and 2, as well as the return of Sonic 3. He's gotten multiple facts about Origins correct, including the very animation team working on the cutscenes, and he even revealed that Sonic Rangers' final name would be Sonic Frontiers. He's gotten enough fake stuff to where someone would understandably write him off entirely, but I believe he's got at least some credibility to him. Now where's the 2D game, Zippo? And, of course, how could I possibly forget about the infamous Larry leaks? The Larry leaks were two forums posted discussing two different Sonic games. The first one was in late July 2016 and discussed a game called Sonic Wars, where you could create your own custom avatar that teams up with the resistance in a war-torn world where Sonic and Tails are missing. He made it sound far cooler. Then he came back in 2018 saying that Sega was working on a fully Sonic-based racing game made by the people who made the Sonic and All-Stars racing games. He made it sound far cooler. After the racing leak, Larry was never seen on the internet again. Nobody knows where he went. He could be you. He could be me. He could even be Azuka himself. Maybe. Wait, something's happening! Never discuss Sonic Genesis, the origins of chaos. Worst mistake of my life. Sorry I took a minute. I had trouble looking for the cast register. Get out of my house. Cole, you don't understand! It was the Sonic to a curse! It was real the whole time! Oh my god, no it wasn't! Get out of my house! I don't think the curse was real.